What do we got? Weird Renan's interactions. What, can you triple knock up on Blitzcrank? Normal W. Auto plus W. Huh? What the fuck? What? I mean, that's probably not useful in... in maybe it is useful in, in real game. What? <laughs> okay, never mind, I take it back. What the fuck? That is mega bugged. That's kind of insane, no? What the fuck? He just did like... He just did like fucking 5k damage. Wait, chat. This, ch this question is going to be really dumb. Can the tentacles crit? They can't, right? No. Imagine if the tentacles could crit. What the fuck? Bro. The... What the fuck is going on with Blitzcrank with Renans? The knock-up doesn't work. What is Alistar stun? Who, who does it stun? <laughs> it just stuns the targets from your Renans. My proposal for LT1 Academy can stabilize their top lane and turn the season around. Put solo top. How is that going to stop Guon from running it the fuck down? Can you explain that to me, Kuh? Yo, Dal actually hasn't been that bad the last few days. Dal hasn't been that bad. What is this? Rat King rapping? Yeah. Yeah, I was in a rap video. So what? Okay, I'm not a good rapper. I had to rap for XL. I had to write all my bars in like four days and it was really cringe. Okay. It was really cringe. While you're hugging on Tafia, I'm the name Prodigy Doom vs Bakun, yeah, it's clear that you better be outclass Running for your life like It's terrible, okay? We're not watching that We're not watching it My voice was mega edited <laughs> It was good, it wasn't good What do you want about good? Okay, I had one good line though For I had one good line for upset I did flame fanatic as well though, so it's kind of awkward that I'm on fanatic now. Class running for your life like it's outlast. You're trash. It's about time that you touch grass. Think about it. Hmm. Fanatic looking bland. Super team suck. Don't you fucking understand? I'm taking on a choke. Have to call the referee. False hack won't save you when we ban Zeri. Okay, I was a bit fucking. I did drop a few swear words in my lines. I was a bit aggressive. So uh, other people's lines weren't that aggressive. I did go a bit in. <laughs> Yo, my bad. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Boy, whole team erase. Time to lose control, they find and replace. I've got an equation that you should embrace. Your L plus this ratio equals disgrace. Okay, yeah. I I'd never rapped before, okay? I thought I wrote I had some banger lines though. But uh yeah. I'd never rapped before. And then the next rap I did was the shy is back. Time to answer the real question. If LEC players get as crazy as hockey players and stop fighting after games, who would beat everyone? Bro, me and Caps fight. I clear, I clear that shit. LSK announcement. Following yesterday's issues. Yes, I know the yesterday's issues. We would like to explain the reasoning for broadcast and pre-recorded match without prior notice. After investigation, yesterday's issues are suspected to be the result of DDoS attacks. I told you it was DDoS and everyone in chat was saying, No, Cajun, it can't be DDoS. No, you can't do that anymore. No, it's not DDoS, Cajun. You're so... D you fucking... You rat. In order to perform full checks on LOL Park, so that the league can proceed into stability moving forward, as well as to prevent similar issues from occurring in today's match, we decided to hold the match online. With each team competing from their accommodations our prior notice. Oh shit. The second reason for the match being rescheduled to today was to accommodate- Wait, they're playing today? It's today at 7pm KST. KST. Current time KST. That's in an hour! They're playing today in an hour from home. But that's really bad for them. They should do it at 
They should do it at 8.30 because uh, they're going to overlap with, T with, uh, with the T1 Academy game. And I think Korean viewership is going to be a bit rough if they're going to do it today. It's pre-recorded. Oh, they already played. Oh, shit. Okay, wait. Who won then? Leak it. Leak it. Who won? On the closest rest day, as expressed by each team last night, in accordance with online match operations, referees and managements were dispatched to each team accommodation. Thirdly, we would like to apologize once again for all the inconvenience to the ticket holders for both matches yesterday. All the LSK staff are doing their best to prepare for the suspected DDoS account attack in order to protect for week six of regular season on Wednesday. If circumstances change, we'll inform. Okay, so... I think it, you could see it was DDoS because like it would work for a little bit and then it would stop and then it would work for a little bit and it would stop and networks don't work like that. You can't just have a network working for 20 minutes and then it drops for an hour and it works for 20 Like they were getting fucking rolled. Yeah. Cajal predictions for worlds. Can't wait for the rat to apologize. Apologize for what? Yo, f KT ain't making it, cuh. Wait, chat. I have a question. If you DDoS, if you're DDoSing someone, yeah, is that how does DDoSing work? Do you just set, do you just send lots of packets to them, and then they can't take all the packets? Is it like a um, you send packets, right? It's like it's like having a DHL operation, and they have to distribute the take the packet and give the packet to the customer. But if they get way too many packets then they're overfilled, right? Kind of like that, right? Cool present. Eight pauses on the LCK today, longest series. Yeah, that was a long day. That was a long day. Eight hour series, ain't no way. Is that Faker? Faker, shh. I'm trying to watch videos, man. When it registers, what is this? When it registers, look, they know what's working. Look! He's on the back burner now. Needs to hit a VLS spec big. 17 gets his bomb back. Off prep. Is this it's RuneScape PvP? When it registers, when it registers boy. What the fuck? Look how laggy it is. The hit didn't even spawn. <laughs> I can't do this today, bro. I can't do this today. I can't. I can't do this today. I waited too long. I spent three weeks. I spent three weeks waiting for this. I did 14 hours, 16 hours every single day. I skipped the jam for this shit. Fuck! I lost 10 pounds for this shit. Damn it! Fix your game! You fucking toxic company! Fuck you! Oh my god! Fix your Fix game! game! Fix it! Classic. Badge. Bring this back. It was what so is funny. That haircut, Lil bro is rocking. Shut up. Ain't no way. Shut up. Lil bro has been wearing the same hoodie for four days. Lil bro looks like my locals are. Za dealer. Rat detected. Shut up. Clown detected. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Shut up. Look at him. Look at him. Bro, I'm not bringing back that TTS. I'm not bringing it back. I'm not bringing that back. That was disturbing. That was disturbing. Nails, nails. It wasn't it like 2014. Scrim information. I would not be surprised <laughs> if like FlyQuest challengers scrimmed more with LCS teams than they did with other challengers league teams. Interesting. Yeah. It would get a whole G2 uh, spreadsheet at the end. Oh LCS. God, <laughs> that was the dumbest spreadsheet I had ever seen. It's like, oh yeah, we are winning scrims. I'm just like, I don't know if you know this, Lennon, but my Warhammer record, I win about 40% of my non-tournament games. And I win about 70% of my tournament. Bro, what is he yapping about? What is he on about? Huh? The spreadsheet is great. Whether they're winning or they're losing, they would post it. It's great for fan interaction and it holds teams accountable. The first time he posted that spreadsheet, he put the names of the teams that cancelled scrims because they got tilted. Yeah? Now he posts a spreadsheet a year later after having posted for four splits 
and no one's cancelled scrims. No one. It's an accountability tweet, basically saying we're the best team, everyone wants to scrim us. Uh, these teams beat us, now fans can be a bit more like bantery with who's winning. But also, if you motherfuckers cancel, then you're going to be exposed. Heretics cancelled one? Yeah, that's because they were sick. But t people would cancel scrims. The reason G2 did it is because what would happen, because I was there, I've been in this. 2020, you would scrim G2, you'd have a six game block. After four games of getting absolutely fucking rolled, the fifth game, you're so tilted that everyone's like, now we're cancelling. And then they get cancelled on game five, game six, and they lose games directors. And this happened with every team. Every team would have this. And then G2 got mega tilted and was like, you know what? We're just going to post our scrim results and say who cancelled and when they cancelled. So that then we can start blacklisting and we can start holding people accountable. That's the whole reason for it. If they had negative win rate scrims, they wouldn't post it. Yes, they would. If you knew Roman, you would knew he's a genuine, honest guy. And the reason he posts this is because he wants more competition and accountability in the region. That's it. That's the only reason he posts it. He's not there for clicks or for likes. Roman's not a person who cares about popularity or fame or whatever. He's there to support a team and make sure the region can improve. That's it. That's Roman's personality. Like that, That's literally it. He worked for Riot. And he probably, I don't know if he did, but he probably earned more at Riot and had a much cozier job. He, he worked there for four years. But he went into G2 to try and make Europe a stronger region. He genuinely did. He wanted to see if he could make the best team better. And uh, yeah, he does a lot of out-of-game stuff. This motherfucker gets himself like this motherfucker goes for seven hours at four in the morning to get himself painted so that he can look like that and he can walk up to the enemy team and stare at them and fucking scare them that's how far he will go to make sure his team has an advantage somehow like that guy's crazy I, i'm not even kidding he's crazy man he does this every split in every finals and he actually just wants the whole like esports region to be stronger um, so yeah, that's why he posted, I think. Um, I, don't, I don't really mind it. I think it's also like, as much as he's doing that for accountability, I think it's good for fans, you know? Like, it's good for fans to hold on to cope. For example, oh wait, my team K Corp like beat G2 in scrims just before the finals. Pog champ! Pog champ. Otherwise, the only information I would have is that they were 2 and 7. That's it. And they were out. But now there's some... And then they, they 6 owed mad. It's like, oh shit. So Madden Scrims was weak, but Madden on stage is better. Or G2's weak on stage, you know? I honestly think, and I, I say this because I, I've known Roman for like five years. If, if they were losing Scrims, I think he would post it anyway. Because he would then phrase it in a way where he would say, Europe has gotten better in Scrims. We're actually struggling. This is great. And that's what he would say. Glazing. Glazing what? Glazing is when you glaze someone because you're a mega fan or you want something out of it. That's what glazing is. What what could I what could I want from Roman? Not that he like not that I want any, like he's just he's just working his fucking hardest. And I respect people who work mega hard and try and make everything better. Like this guy will go on podcasts and talk for four hours about how Chinese and, and Korean teams are just better than us because they practice harder. Like this might sound really dumb, but a lot of people's takes in esports that piss me off sometimes is they say, the last, I've seen it for years, people come into the scene and they're like, yeah, I think the reason that you guys can't beat China and, and, and Korea is because you need to take more time away from the game. Like you need to like relax more and you need to do exercise and you need to do this and you need to do that. And it's like, and they're like, yeah, well, China and Korea, they don't do exercise and like they don't eat super healthy. And as much as those things help, what they actually say is that you should, their main point is you should take more time away from the game, right? Which, I mean, maybe I'm like a psycho here, but I think mo the more you play, the better you get, okay? And you can twist it and turn it and say like, yeah, but if you get tilted, the game quality is low, or if you're not focused, game quality is low, whatever. I think if you have three scrim blocks a day and you scrim for fucking five weeks versus two blocks a day, and instead of having the third block, you go exercise or something, I, I think you're just going to be worse. And that's it. And that might sound really dumb and like, no way, like you're going to get better if you play the game more. But that's my wholehearted belief is the more you grind and the more you like, as sad as it sounds, pour your soul and life away into the game, the better you'll get. And as much as the, I agree that gymming and like eating healthy and taking time to like sleep properly and all that stuff will help you to have a longer career, feel less burnt out and have a better life. I agree with that. 
I think you will get worse at the game versus the Korean players who sit there and play solo queue till 5 a.m., wake up at 12 and start screaming, and they pour their life into it. Um, so I think the gap is like between gameplay wise, the gap between like the West and, and the East is is mainly because of the amount of effort they put in, and it's like. The problem is it's a collective er effort. It's not healthy what they're doing. They'll probably burn out quickly or they'll whatever, you know, like be less healthy. But I think that they will uh, perform overall better because they'll be better at the game. And because all of them do it and they all sit there and they're all fucking grinding their, head, their, their, their minds off. How do I describe this? I think the two main things that that provides is one, if everyone's doing it, then everyone gets better practice because everyone's pouring their soul away and their life away into it. And two, if you're not doing it, you feel insecure because your teammates are, right? If you're sitting there as a teammate and you finish scrims and you go to the gym and then you watch a movie and you go out with friends versus your, your mid laner who's sitting there playing solo queue till 3 a.m. and you stopped playing at 7 and you went to hang out and shit, then obviously you might start to feel a little bit insecure and being like, shit, maybe my teammates think that like I'm not putting in enough effort. So you feel like you have to compensate, right? Uh, yeah. Anyway. I'm done yapping. I'm done yapping. Anyway, my po main point was Roman is also a big believer in the more you play, the better you'll get. And like, I feel like that take is becoming rarer somehow in the West. But I, I actually think that's the, the, it's like the number one, like staple. If you want to become the best, you got to play your fucking heart out. And as much as I want you to be healthy and I will make sure you have time to like get better and like stuff like that. The work-life balance is becoming more lifey than worky, if that makes sense. And people start to, the main reason I say this is because people attribute the reason why we can't compete to the fact that we don't take care of ourselves enough life-wise. And like, I don't know how this has become like a takeover the last few years. And as much as I agree, you should look after yourself. It's, it's obviously in my eyes because you don't work, it, you don't play enough. And like, that should be, I don't know how people don't like, um, see that. Anyway, LSK tweet. Yeah. I've never heard it before. I just heard it for people in the industry. Because from my experience in the LEC, there was players who would like stop scrims at like seven or eight and then they'd play a different game or they'd go out or they'd, um, I don't know, watch a movie or they'd, you know, go to the gym. And as much as they're looking off themselves and they're disconnecting, um, you have to play your, like, Evidence shows us that in Korea, for example, they play three scrim blocks a day for six days a week. Or, you know, like T1 had like, I mean, look how many off days have T1 had in the last year? Like, honestly, I, 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 don't, I don't know how to count it, but fuck me. I, I don't think they've had any really. And as much as I feel bad for them as a person, and I know it's going to hurt their life in the long run, and they probably feel really tired. The reason they can peak so high is because they work so fucking hard. Anyway, Lil Ka is done yapping. My main point was that I feel like people are not talking about playing the fucking game, yeah? Counterpoint G2 2019. Yeah, counter, counterpoint. The only two teams in the West that have ever really been competitive with the East properly is G2 and Fnatic. 2018, 2019, that's it. No other team was properly competitive. So if you're giving me a sample size of two across 14 years, then I'm kind of like, well, shit. But 2019 G2. But it, actually, your, your counterpoint is wrong. I'll show you one line that'll stop your counterpoint. Apparently, Tian got a pen kill. I will show you one, f one sentence that'll counterpoint your counterpoint, okay? Here you go. Here's the one sentence that'll counter your point saying G2 2019 didn't work hard enough. Us having competition every single week, practicing at least 12 hours a day on average. Like you guys can't even imagine how this feels. Like I, I just want to be a human again. <laughs> yeah. There's my counterpoint. And it's sad, right? But he poured his whole fucking life into that game for an entire year with his team and they screamed so much and they felt nothing as a human and that's why they that's why they were so good and 
you can say your counterpoint is that GT2019 didn't work as much and they you know they had a out of game stuff. Yeah, you're wrong. You're actually just wrong. Like this team was practicing more than any Western team maybe has ever practiced. Like they were insane. Their work ethic was crazy. And to have someone finish a world finals and say that they want to feel like a human again, I think just sums it up, right? How much they fucking worked their ass off. They played everything. They played every game of every... They never lost a single best of five until the world finals. That's it. They didn't lose one best of five. Depends on your goal is. You can come into league and you can have a very healthy work-life balance, balance. You can make a lot of money and you can be like a pretty decent player. But if you want to be like a world champion, I think you have to like really... You have to... You have to sacrifice your soul a bit, you know? You have to, like, really somehow put your brain to, like, life autopilot. And there's things that make it easier, right? If you have a chef, for example, as silly as it sounds, if you have a chef that makes you breakfast, lunch, and dinner, that makes it so much easier because that's one less thing to think about. If you have a nutritionist who's making you good meals, that's one less thing to think about, right? In terms of how much stress you're under. Um, like, for example, the T1 office is great. It's a great example. They have everything they need. They have massage chairs that they can use in between scrims and they have uh, a chef that cooks them uh, every meal and they have a little gym downstairs if they want to go for a little run or a little walk but uh yeah i feel like when the, when the, when the, when the cards are down you gotta fucking grind your ass off that's why i think faker is like the best faker is like single-handedly the best icon in league because this guy actually somehow is playing for 12 years, still at his peak, and he does a little bit of exercise, but also he plays his soul out every year. He puts his heart into the game. And I think Caps is another good example of someone who's just like, he pours his life into the game. Like you've got to, you might ask yourself if you want it, but then you have to see people like Faker and you have to ask yourself if you actually really want it, you know? But if you're if you're getting good money and you're happy, then that's fine, you know. I'm just make, make my point is to be like the best of the best of the best. Okay, I'm done yapping. Sorry, I was yapping a lot. Rel's pentakill? Or on par with Zeus? But Zeus is going to find a way to make it his. Oi! Akali! Oh, they just fucking 4v5 them under the turret. What? Red Pentakill? <laughs> 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 Damn, Rel Pentakill. Damn. 